talking about the pneumatic board, I want to tell you all about the components and how they work. These are the pneumatic cylinders. These actuate in and out. Specifically, we call this retraction and we call this extension. There's an in port here and an out port there, or depending on how you look at it, that is an in and that is an out, depending on which way it's going. The other thing is that these are valves. Oh, there are a lot of valves on here. Specifically, these are called limit valves. And you're you're familiar with the concept of a limit switch. Well, this is a limit valve. So it tells you that your cylinder has either extended or it has retracted. As we know, most valves have at least three ports. Now, these valves have three ports. Where's the third port? It's in the back. It's the exhaust. Now, we have it in the back because we don't really need access to an exhaust on a limit valve. So specifically, the air goes in there and it comes out there. These are normally non-passing valves, so normally they don't pass air. They only pass air if you actuate them. So when the cylinder comes out, if air is coming in here, when it hits this, air comes out here. There you go. So these are all the same. They're exactly the same. They are three port, two position valves. So let's go on to some more components over here. These are five port, two position valves. Specifically, these three valves are used to control these actuators. And they specifically control the direction of these actuators, so we call them directional control valves. So these three valves are the directional control valves. Now there's still three position, three port, sorry, five port, three position valves. They are, say that again, there are five port, three position valves, and we are using them as DCVs. So we'll just continue with the other valves here. This is another five port, two position valve. We can use this for lots of really cool things. In this, in these labs, you'll be using this as a relay valve. That's why it's got an R on it. So that's C, B, A, and that's because those are for those, and that's a relay valve. Now, down here again, we also have, this is a pretty cool one. We have a five port, two position valve, but take a look at it. This has a pilot on this side, but it doesn't have a pilot on this side. What's up with that? Well, it has a normal position. It is either normally passing or normally non-passing. It has to be normally something because we have a spring in it, right? So if we are going to put air in here, it will by default come out of here. So I guess we can say that this is normally passing and that's normally non-passing. The way that we make the air come out here is we activate this pilot. Let me just step up with this concept over here. If I put air in there, it's either going to come out there or it's going to come out here. We don't really know which one is set because we don't know where the spool is. The way you move the spool, as you know, is from these pilots. There you go. So if I put air in here, it's going to come out there. Mm, I said that wrong. If I put pilot air in here, my pressure, my source air that's going in here is going to come out here. If I put pilot air in here, the source air that's going in here is going to come out here. The pilot air just goes in there and it kind of stays in there. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, that and that and that and that are really all the same, except this has got a spring in it. So this is kind of cool. You can use this for kind of cool stuff. You can maybe hook it up so that in your, when you press this, as you're pressing it, the cylinder will go out. As soon as you release it, the cylinder will start to return. You can hook that up if you want. Pretty cool valve. Okay, let's go over some of the other components here. Now, again, there is a valve, there is a valve, and this is a valve as well, and it has three ports. It's a three port, two position valve. Now, these have springs in them, so they're either normally passing or normally non passing. These ones specifically are normally non passing. So that's the in port, and that's the out port. Where's the third port? Well, it's on the back, because it's the exhaust. We don't need it. Okay, so same with this. This one, that's the in and that's the out. Over here, this doesn't have a spring. It's a selection valve, it's a selector. So that is actually, I believe this is open. No, that's closed and that's open. So in this case, you can say open and closed with valves. I like to say normally passing, normally not passing. This doesn't have a normally anything because there's no spring on it. So if I put it this way, the air will not pass, but that's the in, and it will not come out here. If I turn it like this, it will come out here. You can play with that and figure it out. Okay, so this guy's a little cool little thing. This is an indicator lamp, light. It's an indicator. What happens is there's a little green ball in there, and when you put pressure in there, this pops out. It's pretty cool. 
So this can tell you that you have pressure in a system or that something's done. If, say, a cylinder is extended all the way, you could hook up the out port from here to there, and it would tell you that the cylinder extended. So it's an indicator. It indicates that something's happening. Now, let's talk about these guys. These are your manifolds. You're going to use these to divide air. Yeah, you can divide air. So air goes in here or here or here or any one of these, really. If you really want to know how this works, inside it's just a big open chamber inside. It's totally just wide open in here. So you put air in here and it, all, it will come out here, here, here. It'll come out all of these ports. So if I designed a circuit that needed maybe three supply airs, what I would do was, it's actually two options, but what I would do using this one is I'd put air in here and then I would take this and say run this down to this switch. I would take this and run down to this switch and then I would take my third one and run it to say my DCB. So those would be the three inputs that I needed. Now if I just leave it, air is going to come out of here and here and here and it's just going to leak out of the system. So if I wanted to, I could block it off with another hose that just came out and went right back in and came out and right back in. So I'm using this manifold to distribute air throughout my board where I want it to go. This is also a manifold, it's just a little bit different. So this manifold is kind of a T or a splitter manifold. It has multiple T splitters in it. This and this and this are all connected, but these three are not connected to these three, and these three are not connected to these three, and so on and so on. Each one of these is independent. So each one of these kind of meets in a, in a kind of a hole in the middle here. If I were to put air in here, it would come out here, and it would come out here. So the other thing I could do, if I needed, say, three ports, I needed to power this, this, and this, I could run air into here, and then I could split that air into two. One here and one here, and then I could run this one into here, and then split it into two. So that would actually give me three. That's another option. These are manifolds. Okay, let's go on to this thing. What does this thing do? Well, it controls pressure in some way, okay? So what we do is we have air either coming in or out. And it regulates the pressure. So specifically what we want to do is we can watch all we can watch on the meter and what the pressure is. Air is going to come in. Let's say we put 50 psi in. It goes in here, and then what we do is we adjust it with this. And we can see it move. Now, you can also lower it down to like 2 or 3 or even 0 PSI, or you can crank it up to 50. You can go up to the max of whatever's coming in. This is a pressure regulator. Now, this, this is a valve that's only got two ports. So in pneumatics, it's pretty rare. It's really just a ball valve in here, and it's an on-off. It's just an on and off. So there's your ball valve, and it turns it on and off. You just flick it this way, or you flick it that way. That's off. Let me see. And that's on. So I guess you can say on and, on and off, but I like to say open and close. So I'm going to say that again. In this position, it's closed. Air does not come out. In this position, it's open. Air comes out. So that's your pressure regulator. Those are all your things. I think we're good.